Hello and welcome to Beyond Bright. Today we're going to be showing you the Black Cube Orb, um, which is a glass orb in the center with a metal frame. Uh, I'm just going to be showing you what the um, orb is actually made of, um, the color and uh, what different lights you're going to be using. So what it's made of, this one is made of metal on the outside, glass in the center. The metal is a high gloss black um, with a, I'd say actually be a jet black. Uh, and then a white opaque um, orb, glass orb, which will house the lighting. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this glass. I'm going to show you how to do that because it's important to know that it's best to put this on when it's on the ground. It's You're going to find it difficult to do it while it's in the ceiling. So when your electrician is putting it on, um, it's easier just to tell them, look, let's put it on there. And I also recommend using an LED because you don't want to be changing it too often. Can be done, it's not difficult. This is just set up on a little rig right now just so we can show what it looks like. But um, I'll just go ahead and turn it off so you can have a look at what I'm doing. Uh, so there's two screws. Uh, you probably have this a little bit tighter than I've got it, but I'm just gonna take out one of these screws. Uh, once you unloosen it a little bit, you'll be able to take it off with your fingers. And the way I'm taking it off is the way you put it on. So you do need to remove one of those screws to take it off and one of those screws to put it on. And it's just the screw that holds this bar, this T-bar in the middle. So that's how you take off the orb. Just put that over here for a moment. And I'm gonna change the light now. I was using a seven watt LED cool white light. I think it's about 3000 Kelvin. Um, and that's recommended only because you don't want to be changing it too often, but again, it's not a big deal if you do want to change it. You can see that it's easy to take off. Uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like with, these are great, these are popular, they're in now with all the cafes, the Edison light bulbs, this is a 25 watt, so it doesn't get too hot. Um, doesn't give out a lot of light, so it does make it really nice and ambient, but let's just show you what it looks like. So it gives off a nice little warm white light, which you can put on here. It's a, a different look. You can see the shadows are coming through. Um, so these are popular as well, and we've got some photos there to show you how to do that. How these look, sorry. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you how to put this back on. Uh, let's put the other light globe back on. So, This is how I would recommend putting these on. Now, just so you can see what the base looks like, the ceiling base. So it's a jet black finish again, gloss. Um, what I would say is if you want to lengthen it or shorten it, you basically push on these little springs that hold the, the cable and you pull on it. And to shorten it, you just pull on it from the other side. So that's basically the system there. It's pretty straightforward. Self-explanatory. Okay, and then we'll put this all back on. So again, you need that screw to be off, so you'd be removing one of those screws. Either one, it really doesn't matter. And then you're gonna be going into the one that's missing the screw, and that's gonna help you go to the other one and hook it in. And again, imagine doing this on a ladder. It could be a little bit tricky. They sort of do line up. Just might need to fiddle around with it a little bit. It is in the right direction. The other one's not going to be moving. It just might be out a millimeter. And you can just tighten it and of course finish it off with a screwdriver. And if you're particularly Perfectionist, if you want to screw it on, obviously you want to screw it on as much as you can so it doesn't slide. If it slides, you're not going to notice, it's just going to have a bit of a, uh, a dip on one side. So you do, want to, you do want to tighten them up so it doesn't slide too much. And that's the black dome. I'll just show you the white one, which is exactly the same thing, except it's in a white finish. So same. Uh, I'd say it's quite a bright white. Uh, there are so many different whites, it's hard to tell you, but this white is quite a bright white. Um, 
So it's have to the exact Pantone would be hard, but uh, yes, you can definitely have a look at the photos online. They're quite similar. We use um, a color balancing tool to try to give you the best light white, but obviously it's going to look different when you've got yellow light going through it or a tungsten light or warm white. It's going to look different. Um, but uh, yeah, they're the two that we're offering on our website.